Our special guest and celebrity chef today is Chris Jarman with a seafood pie. Chris, what are the ingredients of this sumptuous pie that you're going to cook for us today? Well, in the pie, Michael, we're going to use South Australian king prawns, local river fish, some scallops, local yabbies, mussels as well. And then for the sauce, we use celery, onions, leek, some celeriac bulb, some fresh chives, parsley and chervil. And we use some butter flour to thicken the sauce. Of course, the Cooper's Clear and a puff pastry top. So all we want to do quickly is fry these uh, shells in a bit of olive oil. And then uh, you want some rain water. And all you want to do is cover those with some rain water. Bring it to the boil, simmer it for 20 minutes, and then strain it off. And then it's just a matter of putting that back in the pot and reducing that down to 500 mils. And how long will that take, oh, Chris? That won't take long at all, five, 10 minutes. Okay. Now the stock has been strained and reduced to 500 mils. Now we need to start preparing the sauce, which is like a fish velouté, that will uh, make up our pie. Terrific. And I've never used it in cooking, Chris. So where do you use celeriac? Celeriac? Oh, it's a great earthy root vegetable that you can use in pies or as a puree served with meat as well. Just some little cubes. It's very soft, isn't it? So it's yeah. easier to trim it. So a little bit of olive oil in our heated pot. So we we'll throw the onions in. Oh, you can smell the olive oil. As soon as it's heated, it re releases all its um, bouquet, doesn't it? Yeah, and the leek. And the celery act and the celery. And we'll put a little bit of uh, Murray River salt and some pepper. So now we want to just sweat those down till they become soft and glassy. And then we need to remove them from the pot. Right, okay. Okay, we're just going to remove this now that that's ready. So now we're going to go straight in here with our seafood. So we'll throw the scallops in. Michael's cutting the prawns up. You want me to cut the fish yep, up too? Yep, cut the fish into same size chunks. Throw the yabbies in. Yep. You want me to cut up the mussels or are they fine like that? Uh, chop them up a little bit as well, yeah. Okay. So this seafood, it won't take long to cook at all. Remember, we're going to add the sauce to that and then it's going to go in the oven again when it's going to be cooked as a pie. So you only really need to partially cook this. And then what we need to do is remove this seafood from this pot. That wasn't any more than about a minute or so. The butter and flour is, becomes a roux. And so we just melt the butter. Then we add the flour to combine that together. And then to that, we add our stock. I need to keep stirring that and knock the top off that beer for me, Michael. Oh, with my pleasure. How much would you like All here? of that, one. Oh, so there's none left for us. Whole stubby in here. And see how quickly that thickens up. Now the seafood back in there. And then the vegetable mix. And we're going to throw the fresh herbs it's in. It's going to give it a nice bit of colouring, isn't it? I can turn that off now. I've got to chop some chervil and some parsley. So some chervil. Apart from the green, what does chervil, sort of the flavour that it adds, Chris? Oh, it's like a bit of a slight aniseed type. Right. A little bit different than parsley. And then, mm. simply, we've got to get that into the pie dish and into the bakehouse for about 15 to 20 minutes with a nice puff pastry crust. They're ready to go. Yeah, I've got a you went or fishing? Yep. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, beautiful. There you go, a seafood pie with Cooper's Clear Beer.